guys and welcome back to my channel. So I have done a tutorial on this look. So this is a smoky look which you can pair up with your party makeup or a black dress. The highlighter game is strong. I'm really loving the highlighter and really loving how the entire look turned out. Everything will be explained in the video going forward. So if you want to see this tutorial then please keep on watching. Please do hit the subscribe button if you like watching my videos. It will really mean a lot to me. Now let's just move on to the video. So first up, I'm going to start with moisturizing my face well. I'm using this Garnier Day Cream. It's really nice, very nice to give you a hydrated feel. Next up, I'm going to use this Kama Ayurveda Rose Water just to prepare my skin for lots of makeup. Coming up, I've already uh, moisturized my lips well. So yeah, you gotta do that. I'm starting today's makeup with the eyes first and then we are going to do the foundation and everything. I'm just using a tape here to define the area of the eyeshadow and make sure that the eyeshadow does not budge and does not go away. I'm using the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. I'm going to use the lightest shade and just apply it all over my lid area and just blend it so that I don't get any oiliness on my eyelids because that's a concern so yeah that's done now I'm gonna take the dark brown shade you can use any dark brown shade and I'm just gonna apply it on my uh, crease area and just gonna use it as a transition shade of course you want to make sure that you're blending it really nicely and seamlessly so yep I'm doing this on uh, the other eye as well for this look I actually wanted a very intense black kajal and that's why I thought why not use the plum coal um, you will see that when I started applying it the felt tip actually broke and yeah that was a bummer but then I thought why not utilize it and so I took it on my hands and just applied it on my lid area as much as I could so that I do not waste the product. So that's how you're gonna make use of uh, whatever you have. So now I'm just intensifying the look and when I tried blending it I thought that it's not very easy to blend it because the coal sets in really fast. So I thought why not use an eyeshadow, a proper black eyeshadow. I use it from the Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. You can actually use any black eyeshadow and you'll see that now you know this is actually intensifying the look more. So yeah that's nice. I'm using a blending brush like a thicker blending brush and blending the black foundation now I'm going to use this shade, orange shade, I think it's named peanut butter and I'm just applying it on my crease area to make sure that the transitions are well blended. So you got to blend, blend, blend and do your cardio like that. And of course I'm tired of blending that much. So now I'm going to use the highlighter shade from this palette and just highlight my brow bone area on the other eye itself. Now I'm going to use this e.l.f. Uh, brown gel liner. Now you're going to see that when I started applying it, I wasn't very happy with how it is coming on on the black eyeshadow and uh, there's actually an experiment which turned out to be good because then I thought that why not just apply a pink glittery eyeshadow over it and it actually stuck to it and it was looking so nice. So that really worked. And now I'm going to repeat this on my other eye. So the eyes are pretty much done. I'm gonna curl those lashes and I'm gonna top it off with mascara. I'm gonna use the Lash Sensational Mascara by Maybelline and apply a good coat or two of the mascara. Of course, we are gonna go with falsies for this look because eh, why not? Just gonna take the tape off and make sure that the wings are in place. Just gonna wipe off any excess fallouts. I'm using my Benefit Professional Primer because of course you want your makeup to stay in place. Now I'm taking my favorite foundation, the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Foundation and I'm using my all-time favorite YBP Makeup Perfector. The combination works so great for me. I love both of these products. I'm just going to apply this foundation with the Makeup Perfector on my face, on my neck and yep, I'm going to start blending it. You want to make sure that you take a good amount of time in blending everything perfectly so that you know it's all seamless, it's no fine lines and everything is in place. And yep, I had to drop something, that's just, just me. <laughs> Now I'm taking my MAC Correct and Conceal palette. I'm using the orange shade here on my dark circles to just color correct it. And on top of that, I'm going to use my concealer. Now do you see that? I've hit the pan on that concealer. I love this concealer so, so, so much. 
just applying it on top of the orange corrector and blending everything in now i'm not gonna go with too much of a uh, dark circle concealing because i don't think that's too natural so you're still gonna see some dark circles and that's how it's gonna be now i'm using the nyx contour and highlight stick and applying it on my under eyes just to give a highlighted effect to the eyes so yep i'm going in inverted triangles of course i'm sure you have seen this with everyone so yep just on the bridge of the nose above the eyebrows going to make that face because yep that's what we gotta do and now i'm just gonna blend 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 everything setting everything in with my elf setting powder just gonna dab it on the areas which I've just concealed on now using the contour side of the contour stick I'm just gonna define the hollows of my face and just gonna outline my face a little bit for that bronzy look if you know what I mean yep also going to take over that nose going to make that face and again blending it And ta-da! We have a slimmer looking face with the power of makeup. Now I'm gonna use, first I'm gonna just see myself and now I'm gonna use the MAC setting powder. My favorite setting powder of all times. I'm just gonna powder it all over my face to make sure that my foundation is less oily because yep, I have combination skin. T-zone is very very oily and very sweaty now i'm gonna use the lacme absolute blush now this is a very very pigmented blush and you will see that my cheeks look like very clowny right now but just wait for it i'm gonna use the ybp perfecta and just gonna dab whatever foundation is left on my cheeks so that it gives a very uh, lessened effect of the blush now i'm gonna use this makeup revolution sun kiss highlighter oh my god you guys this highlighter is really giving me life right now Oh, it's so good. I'm gonna use this makeup perfecter and just gonna dab that highlighter. Do you see that? Oh my god, this nose is shining like a tube light right now. So yep, highlighting is done. Let me stare at myself. Now I'm gonna use the eyebrow pencil by Maybelline. The duo shape of fashion brown and I'm sure you guys have seen me using this. So yep, I'm just gonna fill in those extra gaps which I have in my eyebrows because eyebrows has to be done guys I mean that is a game changer I mean lashes are also a game changer and everything is a game changer but yeah you gotta do those eyebrows right I'm taking a little bit of that highlighter on my pinky finger and just using it on my inner corners of the eyes to give a pop on the eyes and now for the lashes I'm going to use the Glomere striptease lashes just look at how fluttery and how gorgeous those lashes are and of course it was hot so the bun had to be made Yep, so applying these falsies. If you want to see a tutorial on how to apply falsies, then comment down below and then I would do that for you. Yep, these falsies are done and now I'm just going to apply a little bit of black eyeshadow on the lower lash line just to give it a smoked out effect and just to make the eyes look big. So yep, staring going on and just making and posing. You'll see a lot of posing, so just beware. For the lips, I wanted a very muted kind of a lipstick, so I'm going with the Lacme uh, Lip and Cheek mousse in the shade blush velvet but since i wanted a matte look i thought that i'll just dab yep i just i thought i'll just dab a little bit of loose powder on my lips to make the lipstick perfectly matte and long staying for the finishing effects i'm just going to take a little bit of more of that highlighter and just pop it in my inner corners of course i forgot to apply mascara on my lower lash line so i'm going to do that and yes, that's the final look. I'm going to pose more because I'm in love with this look. If you also like this video, then please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in my next video. But before that, I'm going to show you a little bit of bloopers and what goes on behind the screen. So enjoy. Bye. बकते कैसे हैं बारे में से? चलिकॉल से? आइलैश